now we're going to go into the men's bear bow. Um, we're going to start off with Richard Stonebreaker, who was the number one seed, scored 588 in qualifying, uh, won through his elimination matches, 7-1, 6-2, and 6-2. So he, he did a really good job through eliminations, didn't really have anything close. And you also have Jordan Graham. He was ranked third, so both of these were very high seeds coming into this. Um, he scored a 586. Shooting first, Richard Stonebreaker. On target two, Jordan Graham. And so Jordan Graham is a local here. He's here from Ohio. He didn't have to travel too far for this tournament. Fox. And Richard Stonebreaker is from Texas. Up here's Richard's going to be shooting first. Rick's been all around a long time. I like seeing him at all these USAT tournaments and stuff and always enjoy talking with him. He's always uh, good for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one thing you can always say. Bear bows, they are always having a good time. They None of them seem to take themselves or, th like, they take the sport seriously, but they don't take every little arrow as personally, I don't think, <laughs> as we sometimes do. Yes. So Rick started off with a 6-7 liner. And we've got seven. a seven. So it's either tied up or Jordan's got him by one. The sun is starting to come back out. It appears we've dodged the rain. Good nine. strong nine for Rick. Nine. And answers with another nine. So he carries a one point lead in the last arrow. And a seven. Eight. Another eight. So he's going to take that set by two. So if you watch Rick whenever he gets, when he addresses his bow before he pulls back, you see him using his thumb on a string. He's counting down how many threads of serving yep. or if he's got a mark on his tab to where he needs to put his hand. So then whenever he pulls back, he could line the point up with where he yep. wants to hit it. <laughs> and then he has to pull it back the same every single time to hit the same place. And so, yeah, they sometimes they'll usually mark their tabs or something. So that way they can change distances. They'll string walk it down or up. That way they kind of have – it's kind of their own way and a little sight thing, you know. So that way they know where they need to anchor for that distance. Yep. And then, again, you still have to pull it back exactly the single yeah. si yeah. same every single time because <laughs> – Unlike a compound, there's no draw stops. And nope. unlike Olympic recurve, there's no clicker to let you know when you've hit your full draw right. position. So this sport is extremely difficult. There's yeah. not a whole lot of forgiveness with bear bow. No. See Jason down there pulling arrows. Jason's also another really, really good bear bow shooter here local for ace archers. i got a fly buzzing around my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I think I heard that we had uh, record-breaking numbers here this yeah, year at Buckeye. Yeah, it was 747, I think it was. So, so it's it a was huge tournament. It's yeah. great to see that many numbers coming out. And I know, I know the Barebow crowds have come out in numbers since yes. they've been added to the USAT. So uh, it's good to see the Barebow community supporting, um, getting an organization to include that discipline into more tournaments. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right. Heading into the end number two, Jordan is carrying a two-point lead. Like I said before, this is set points, so the lead he had at the beginning of the last end does not carry over yeah. to this end. This end is a standalone scoring end. Eight for Richard. Ten. And a nice ten for Jordan. See, both these guys have a little bit different... Um, style when they shoot too. Richard seems to aim a little bit longer and Jordan is a little quicker shot. Nine. Good strong nine. Jordan with the seven. seven. So that means the end is tied up right now. So it's going to come down to this last arrow to see who wins the end or we tie. Six. 
often Jordan has to hit a seven or better to win the end. And nine. he does, hits a nine. Calls it up with a nine. He'll take another two points and be up 4-0 against Rick Stonebreaker. Yeah, you can tell Rick kind of knew the pressure was on there, trying to put in a good arrow. It does seem like he aimed that one a little bit longer because he knew if he could take another take another point on him here, he'd get two set points and, and tie the whole match back up. So now it's 4 nothing. so he knows he has to either win or tie the next match. And if it ties the next match, then he has to win the next end to that's, stay that's alive. That's the difficult part about the set point thing is you could shoot your best end and someone could match it or do better, and it doesn't add up from the last end. You know, it's completely new, and they could win by one point and take both set points and take it all, you know? Yep. So got these guys getting their arrows back, get them in their quiver. Looks like we're good down range. Going to get the third end here. Jordan with a 4 nothing lead. And Rick will shoot first here. There he is, counting his. And these guys have the exact same amount of time, that 20 seconds that the compounds do. Um, they don't seem to take quite as long as his compounds, setting nice. up and preparing and shooting, but. You know, that 20-second limit is still there, and that nine. pressure is there to make it count. Jordan, Jordan matching the nine there. Great shot. So as soon as Jordan's arrow's gone, Rick's time starts, so he's going to draw back here with under 10 seconds to go. So a little bit of pressure, but with the nine. nice nine. With these bare bows, there's not a let off like there is. Wow. Yeah. Great shot for Jordan there. There's not let off like there is on compound, so you're holding the full weight of whatever you're drawn back, so you can't really hold it back that long. So that's why these guys, their shot seems to be a little bit quicker. Eight. Good in for Richard. Five. So that's going to go, that end's going to go to Rick. 26 to 24 on that one. So you see how quick that it can change yeah. in this in this uh, in Barabo. It's like you, where compounds like you expect to hit a ten every single time. This like when you hit a ten and a nine, it's like all right, yeah. if we did a good job. Yeah. But like one little thing, you can be all of a sudden out in a six or a five and and lose your set. Absolutely, and with this sun and wind and rain kind of being uh, changing the way it is, that you know that affects the way you shoot. That affects the way you aim and how you see. So. You know, they're they. I think they've actually shot kind of through it all right now. They had the wind there for a second. They have the yeah, sun. Sun's out right now, so that I mean that'll change shadows coming yep, off your string absolutely. and how you're how you're going to aim off the point of your arrow, whatever reference point you're using um, to aim. That that little bit of light can change, and you can see that like even in qualification for compounds, like as the sun sun changes positions in it, your peep sight can look yep. a little bit different. So these guys struggle with the same things we do, just not on the same same aspect of it. Um, but they are putting up some great arrows and fighting through it all. Yep, so two to four. Jordan is still leading by two. Rick's going to lead off here since he's down. Nice, nice strong nine there. Nice. And matches it with another nine for Jordan. Rick's done this long enough. He knows he's never out of it. He can nice. keep, if he can keep throwing arrows down at range like that, he's got a chance at it. So Absolutely. Oh, and then Jordan answers with a 10. What a great arrow there. And Rick knows he's got to put a good one down there and put some pressure on Jordan to get this set. Nice. nice. Oh, nice. what an end for Jordan to win that. What an amazing in there. X99 to finish off yeah, those with Fairbo. That was amazing. Some awesome scores. I mean, everything in the yellow there. They both gave it everything they got in that last end. Yep, they gave each other a hug. And looks like some tears might be coming from Jordan. Jordan looks, Jordan looks pretty happy there. So, I mean, that match, 
I mean, yes, he won six to two, but yep. that last end, it's like he knew he had Rick, – Rick, Rick threw down nine, nine, nine. He yeah. knew he had to shoot an eight or better to tie the match, at least to keep him behind him. Otherwise, it was going to be a whole tie score there. Yeah. It was going to be 4-4 four, four going into the last end. So, um, he put – I mean, X-9-9 nine, nine to, to finish out just to – just to close it out was an awesome, awesome end, and these guys are pretty amazing what they can do. Yes, it looks like some encouraging words came from Rick there.